blessing our heart in song. Uh, I had to go back to the doctor this week, and I went six months ago. And uh, he said, I just feel some things that's not correct, it's not right. But, so I had to go back six months later. And so the doctor said, I want to tell you, I won't need to see you for another year because everything yeah. seems to be fine. I really didn't pray a lot and say, God, would you heal this situation? I more or less prayed and said, God, that will be done. Just whatever you want, I'm going to try to walk there. Yeah. I'm learning that from Wesley. Yeah. It was unusual. I stepped in to the doctor's office. Now, Gideon Bibles is in the book rack in a hospital or a doctor's office. But for some reason, this Gideon Bible was up on the counter on just right beside where you sign in. So I signed in and picked up the Gideon Bible. And I walked over and I opened it and I started reading. I didn't get to read a long ways in the Psalms where it opened. But I read Part of Psalms 86, if you want to turn it there in the Word of God. And when I got to the last verse in that chapter and just had finished reading it, she said, come on back, Julius Hicks. <laughs> yes, ma'am. While taking the Bible, Gideon Bible, back up and laying it on the counter, I said, Lord, I want to remember that. So I started saying the chapter and the verse so I could double stamp it in my mind to remember. Mm -hmm. This particular chapter in the Word of God written by David in a difficult time is a cry for help. Mm -hmm. Now don't forget that. It is a cry. Somebody please help me. Yes. Oh God help me. Yeah. The enemy's pursuing me. See my own family. Lord do something. Yes. Verse 17. Lord, would you show me a token for good that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed. Give me a token so when they see it, they will be ashamed because thou, Lord, has helped me and you have comforted me. When I read that verse, and I read it over again when I got home. My thinking automatically went to Hannah. So what I want to talk about in these next few minutes is how to deal in a troubled home. How to deal in a troubled house. Every home, every house here this morning represented has a hard situation. A man, a husband, a woman, a wife, children, grandchildren, and the list goes on. An aunt or a knuckle, your concern for a brother or for a sister. Every family has a situation. Yes. In my family, all the years of marriage, 
We've always dealt with the situation, and I think I'm the problem most of the time. But we deal with it. We deal with it. We, we do not entertain separation nor divorce. Mm -hmm. but we, we do not try to run from the situation. Southern Baptists say in our membership a large percentage of our people change churches every eight years. They know that. They've studied us. They've watched us. I feel like some of the situations that I've seen in our churches, instead of dealing with family situations, yes. they're on the run. Right. Maybe, maybe I can go to another church. But it won't heal it. No. Maybe I can shun this. It, it will not heal it. In your family, from your heart, to be a winner. You must handle it. Christ's life. Yeah. Now let's back up. The first Samuel. The great Holy Spirit of God working in our hearts gives us the gift of faith to be saved by and to live by. Faith is not sight. Faith is not sight. Thank God for all we can see. Thank God for what we've seen Him do. But you got to deal with the situations when it's a difficult sight. Right. And you do that with the faith of the Son of God. Amen. Because faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not, not seen. seen. Not seen. Right. It's, it's not what we see. Right. It's believing God Amen. in every situation. What she sees is not faith. And again, thank God. I've seen a lot of faith. Thank God. But faith does not come by sight. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the Word of God written and living. Yes. Hannah's in a very difficult family situation. Yeah. In those days, the men did what was pleasing in their own sight. So her husband thought in his thinking, there'll be nothing wrong for me being married to two women at the same time. The description to describe a man with two wives is right here in the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the last time I said that at a church, I sensed in my spirit I had to move rapidly. Because I was not there to preach one night to tear up a hornet's nest. Yeah. That wasn't my purpose. Right. But, but if you want to know the conditions and the qualifications to be a man of two women, right here it is. Uh, okay, now, wives, how would you like to be married to a man and in the house that you lived in, he had two wives, not just you, but another I think it would cause a very difficult situation. 
You've probably Hannah's husband convinced himself in his thinking it'll be all right for me to get another wife because I want to have children and, and Hannah can't have any children. Mm -hmm. yes, this, this other woman criticized Hannah. She talked about Hannah. Mm -hmm. She made fun of Hannah. How would you, Dale? Mm. What would you say? Yeah. <laughs> Probably, if I would have been Hannah, when my husband came to me and said, listen, the other woman has gave me children, but don't you forget that I love you more than I love her. If I'd been Hannah, I'd say, get rid of her then. If you, if you love me more, let's settle this issue. Yeah. But he didn't do that. No. Hannah is dealing with a very hard issue in her home. It, it was not enough that she lived in the same house with this other woman that had given children to her husband, she was considered that she was not blessed by God because her womb mm -hmm. was closed and could not reproduce. And that other woman with the kids would make fun of her. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, why do you go up to worship with us? Mm -hmm. You don't know need to go up and worship with us. Don't you know God's against you? Look at these kids over here. But don't touch them. All them kids belongs to our husband by me. Not by you. Yeah. You. Would you want to pray about it? Would, would you, in this condition, would you want to live by sight or would you want to pray by faith and believe God? Mm -hmm. you're, you're doing one of the two. That's right. I know too much about us. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody in process of a divorce seen in Knoxville at one of the places that said, I'm just hunting a woman. Yeah. Terrible. Right. Mixed up. Right. Right. Living by sight, right. not by faith. Right. Hammond. <clears throat> Went in to the temple of God. <laughs> Come on, free. She got on her face yeah. before God. She, she got so emotional. She, she got so involved and yeah. prayed about her situation. Just like David prayed. Yeah. Do something, Lord, yeah. so my enemy will know yeah. Yeah. that you've showed up. Yeah. 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 Give me a baby. Yeah. Please give me a baby. Yeah. I've had enough. I want to have a baby. And by the way, let it be a baby boy. Yeah. She chose the sex yeah. of her child. Yeah. Eli's priest. Eli has seen people that are intoxicated yeah. with wine. Mm -hmm. And he watches her. And her speech just gets to be a murmur. Yeah. And she finally loses that. Yeah. But she learned to pray without words being said. Yeah. She learned to mourn yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. And that great priest, that, that Eli, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean the man at the temple that ought to really... Help her. Yeah. The 
accused her of being drunk. Right. You drunk, girl. Yeah. You drunk. Could I just say in passing that her pastor at church yeah. did not encourage her. Mm -hmm. He he made a decision about Hannah by what he seen out of Hannah right. talking to the Lord. Yeah. Mm. Help me. Did Eli misjudge yeah. Hannah? Yeah. Did, did Eli say something about Hannah that was not correct? Did he not? Did he not? I've been reading this passage of Scripture this week. Last Sunday morning after I preached, a godly person said to me, Frank, you got too personal in that day. Bless you. And I thought I did. You too. You got too personal in Preached a good message. Yeah. And then you probably said some things you want to say. You Bless you. Bless you. Got you. Eli got to person. Yeah. I sat by Floyd Harris as we spent some time with Wesley on Bobby and Sharon's front porch. She had a fan blowing on us. I was very comfortable. But I started again running it through. And running it through for me. Bobby, when I stepped off of your porch and I started to my car, Jerry, the Holy Ghost of God dealt with me. I said, Lord, here I am. He said, well, you've been studying about Eli. The priest, the leader in the church. And you made a wrong judgment. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, I've got you now. That's all right. Bless you. That's all right. So I'm here this morning. Bless you. And whatever you think about it, you take it up with God, okay? Yeah. Some said do it, some said don't do it. I've got to do it because God said do right. it. Amen. Amen. Shouldn't have got so personal. Shouldn't have got so personal to our deacon body. Greater men than I'll ever be. Mm. But don't forget what I said about Psalm 76. Mm. David feels like yeah. he's trying to do it all on his own yeah. without any help. Yeah. I, I, I believe when I'm getting old. Yeah. I take some medicine. I know I'm getting more personal. I, I don't like to be that way. So to the deacon body of this church, please forgive your Eli, okay? I probably missed the mark. And to the deacon that's not here, that hadn't been here for years, if he hears about it, I want him to forgive me. And then I said, to all the people in Bethlehem Baptist Church that has a leadership role. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. No. Did you sleep last night? No. 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 And I want to tell you right now. I'm as free as a bird out of the God said, Frank, if Eli can mess up, Frank Hicks can mess up. Yes, yes. And Randy, I remember the look on your face when I made one of those things. I knew I was on the borderline. What I'm saying to you this morning, how what I've said, with all my heart, I need help. I need help. Yeah. I, I need somebody to help. Yeah, touch him, boy. Yeah. Bless 
I, I know too much about this place. Yeah. I know what our people are doing. Yes. I need that. Yes. And I appreciate all your prayers. Sure. I know you pray for me. If it wasn't for that, there's no way I could have made that. Yes. Yes. Come on, Jack. Jake, I want you to stand right here. Now, Jake's going to be Eli. I don't think he'll fit into this description, but for a purpose in this, he's going to have to be Eli this morning. You. Brooke, without your son, let Bobby have you. I want you to do that. They was a lady in this church. Watch, bro. With Zeke. Call Barbara and said, I want to tell you, Brooke loves her baby. Yeah. Hannah said, Lord, if you give me a little old boy, I'm going to give him back to you. Yeah. If you mark it down, yeah. if you'll grant this for me, yeah. I won't keep it. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Now they've done give Zeke to the Lord. But Brooke, they are some debate yeah. on the age of Samuel. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm not going to go back. Not another time to the temple yeah. until I've weaned this baby. Yeah. Brooke, you love Zeke. It shows on you. You fed him. Yeah. You've changed his diaper. You've bathed him. You've tucked him in the bed. Probably every yeah. night. Now, how would you like to take him? You can go get him. After a couple of years, how old is he? About two now. He's two years old. Some of the scholars say that Samuel was two years old. Now, why I had... I believe he likes his papa best. <laughs> why I had to have Jake, if I'd had somebody else, Zeke wouldn't went to me. Brooke, can you imagine going up to that temple with that baby that you prayed for, that God answered your prayers? She stuck with her covenant. She stuck. With her commitment. She stuck with the church. In what he and she said. They would do. For the glory of God. She stuck. I've got to. I made a vow. I made a covenant. God is depending on me. And the temple. Is depending on on me. I need help. Amen. Bless. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Brooke, the Eli that falsely accused you, you walked in that temple and put Zeke. <laughs> oh, Lord. I've been his arms. I wouldn't have done it. I couldn't have done that. I'd said, no, you made fun of me. I'll let somebody else have him. But Eli had to have him in the plan of God. Because God, in that baby, knew that he had to have a Samuel. Amen. 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 Amen.
Hallelujah. I can imagine that other wife saying, what'd you do with that baby? You think God gave you that baby and you tell me, you think that baby's any better than my boys? Yeah. You did good. Yeah. You did good. Right. You don't forget this one. Yeah. Yeah. Hannah, when the sun started setting yeah. that evening, mm. No doubt, Jerry. The way she loved that gift from God. I want to be my steady. I want who's going to tuck it in tonight. What's going on up in that temple? My boys up there. Could I say it again? Yeah. She's stuck. Yeah. She's stuck with what she told God. Yes. Yeah. That she would do yeah. for the benefit yes. of the local church. Yes. Right. Right. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. She got back home. She waited a few days. I don't need that now. She got back home a few days. Her husband came in. They become one flesh. Nine months later, yeah. it's my God. Yeah. <laughs> she had another baby. Why? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Come on, son. Let me parade you in front of that other woman. Come on, son. Yeah. You're a doll to me. Come on. About two years later, she had another baby. <laughs> That's my God. That's what God does for you spiritually when you stick with your vow. Amen. He'll heal every home. Yes. He'll fix every situation. Yes. Every family can be healed. If somebody can learn how to pray. Yes, help. Yep. A few years later, had another boy. <laughs> Three for one. <laughs> That's our God. Yeah. And I said, boy, in my sanctified imagination, three boys is enough. What you gonna have this time, bro? A little girl. Isn't that amazing? And it's three, four, fifth one, you know what it was? It was a little girl. I wonder what they thought when she prayed that little girl yeah. and them three boys yeah. through the temple up to Eli. I bet when Eli stopped like I thought, boy, I wish I hadn't said that last Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> she took him four kids and went back home. A few months later, you know what happened? She had another little girl. <laughs> That's our God. Yeah. Let, let me tell you something. One of the politicians is running. The lady's got a phrase that she's saying. If you ain't going to do it, don't talk about it. Yeah. Make it her elected. Yeah. If you're with your pastor, say amen. Amen. It's better to have never made a covenant That's right. than to make it and then break it. Right. Yeah. Right. But ain't right. nobody here that's right. Yeah. Nobody here that's right. Gotta get personal now. I ain't gonna use no names this morning. You lived up to your end of the bargain. Mm. I'm afraid I I see myself in this. What does church membership mean to us? Yeah. 
members. Now, what does it mean to 700 plus members? What, what does it mean anymore? I've had a couple of phone calls and, and, and Wesley, according to the doctors, is going to go to heaven for too much money. After this trouble, I've been cured and went with him. <laughs> and it's really not trouble. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a test. Right. It's a test. It's just a test. Boy, I've tried to make a passing score because I don't want to take this one again. Mm -hmm. And I hope and pray to God that person that loves me so much doesn't have to say to me again when I preach. should have said what she said. You said it bothered you with it in lunch. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here to hurt any of us. If you think I am, you don't know me. But I am here to help us. Grow spiritually. That's right. Somebody said, where do you get deep in that anymore? Where do you hurt from? Right here. You should spend some time in prayer and let God give you something. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what he can do. He can sing you a saint from in his place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had this little old young <laughs> year by mother. Didn't know who would win the anointed day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He looked like a king. No. Did his family think he was king material? No. Didn't even have him in the house. Uh -huh. I tell you, he was God's man. Amen. By God's choice. Yeah. Let's stand our feet together.